I, I need to make money and I need to not have problems. How's the way I can solve both of those? So I wrote this song. When I was, like ever since I was, I was younger, I've always had this dream where I could make an invention and it would solve all my problems and make me money. You know, everyone has a dream like that. Cause all it could take is like that one invention, that one thing that someone hasn't thought about. And that's the whole premise of this song. I think it's really fun to get really creative and do something different. Cause this is very different from the stuff that I usually do. A lot of piano and it's a happy piano. It's like a happy feeling song. It's supposed to be more uplifting because I do get deep a lot in the album and having a song like this really lets you think it's okay. It's going to be fine. Especially if I successfully create this invention, I still have not yet uh, finished it or even began working on it. Um, <laughs> I think the invention only exists as a song and it may have to stay like that. But maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make some merch or something like that that has that has something to do with the invention. Cuz I feel like if we could create an invention that keeps people from having feelings, that'd be bad. That'd actually be bad. Let's not do that. That's not a good idea. I, I elaborate that in my song. I'm like, yeah, I'd be making millions, but billions of people would be unhappy. So before I talk too much more, let's 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 do the thing. All right, we're gonna start OBS in three, two, one, click. Couple things, these next two songs that I'm gonna cover, they might be a little bit shorter videos just because these songs were meant to be fillers. Um, and basically what a filler is to me and like what I would call a filler is a song that isn't necessarily long or the main point of the album, but something that ties it together. Uh, sometimes, funnily enough, these types of songs are the ones that end up being more popular than the rest of the stuff. But even still, even though this song is a bit of a filler, I love how it's played. Uh, I need to learn it, but I can play it for the most part. And uh, it's just, it makes me happy. It's a very, it's a very good feeling song. It reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of who I used to be when I was younger and how innovative and determined and so forward thinking I was. I wanted to bring that back. So I wrote the song. It was fun again. Uh, I, I actually wrote this one after I wrote Around, so they are not in the order I wrote them. I felt like the album meant more if Around came after this song, just because uh, it, it'll go in, more so just because it'll go in an order of you have a sad song, then a bop, then a happy song, then a dark bop, and then a happy bop. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot. I know. It's a lot of different stuff. It, a lot of it's not uh, all the same. It's, it's, uh, it's on a spectrum of different styles of music that I, that I really wanted to dive into. I actually wrote this song, uh, well, I thought of the first few lyrics of this song when I was doing laundry. I was just kind of, I was just kind of sitting there thinking, what's the stupidest way I can solve every problem I have right now? If I create an invention, to keep people from having feelings. I'd make money, people would be unhappy, which I mean, like most people are already. But it would also solve my relationship issues. I know for real though, like if you, if, I, I know that's not, that, that's not how it do. I know that that would never work. So don't, don't go thinking that I actually mean what I'm saying in this song. It's definitely just to be a fun, playful little idea. Because I started with the lyrics, Finding the chords for this song was actually pretty difficult. Um, I, I went through a lot of different ideas of what I could have on the piano until I found one that I was really happy with. So let's listen to the bass of that piano real quick. It's really fun to play. Uh, and then I didn't want to build too much off of the song. I wanted it to be simple. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I added in parts of the chord as time went on and then I eventually resolved the whole chord. So what you hear when I add in the chords, you'll hear the first, no, sorry. The first chord is the root and the fifth. And then when I uh, escalate the chords and add more notes, it becomes the entire, uh, the major chord. And it just, it makes me, oh man, it, it completes it so well. I'll show you, I'll, uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean before I, oh my God. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, 
And I thought it'd be really cool to uh, not have vocals continuing out through the whole thing. And instead I put some oohs in the background, uh, which were uh, done by me. I mean, if you, if you didn't know that, they, yes, they were done by me. And I think, I think it's just, it makes it, man. It, th this song is so, it, it hits my heart in a way that no other song I've ever written hits it. And, I, and it, it just, ah, man. So another thing you might notice, there's a kick in this song, um, but there's really no bass. A lot of the bass I wanted to be represented in the piano. However, when I do this like cool little bridge thing, uh, where I have the ooze and it kind of just builds. At the very last measure is the only place where I decided to put bass in this song, like actual like analog sub bass. And for some reason, like I intended it at, at first to continue out through the song, but then I heard it when it was just one measure and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just keep it like this. And that's, that's basically the song. Um, I can dig more into the lyrics. I think the lyrics are one of the stronger parts of this song. Um, things like, uh, then I question her lover's intentions he has with my baby. I think that's a fantastic lyric. I think, I think I did good with that. There are also other ones that hit me really hard, like maybe someday I'll, uh, maybe someday I could figure out how to manage emotions. And maybe someday I could figure out how to manage emotions. And maybe someday I could figure out how to get through yours as well. And maybe someday I could figure out how to get through yours. And then I think, um, I think the other thing I really like that's not done very much, I'm trying to use a lot of eyes in this song, especially when we get to the main uh, chorus. And I'm talking mostly about like the vowels that I choose to use and try to rhyme with. And maybe then I could sleep without thinking about everything used to be the lyric. But when I sang it, I just had to say lately. I felt like it had to come in, but I didn't want to put it in time. And that's what I got from this. Finally, I can sleep without thinking about everything lately. So yeah, this is a short song. Uh, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far, I definitely recommend you listen to the whole thing and let me know what you think. This was a fun one to write. So, since I realized that I could never truly create this invention, it forced me to start really thinking about what was happening. That's kind of why I thought around should come after this, mostly because wondering why I'm around is not what I'm doing in this song, but it's something that would probably happen later on. First you'd get through all of the original emotions, but then you'd get to a point where you're like, okay, why am I dealing with this? Why am I with this person? Why am I around? But I'll talk more about uh, the, the meaning behind around in tomorrow's video. So if, uh, yeah, you should go check that out. And I've also been learning a lot more about what it really means to be an empath and how I can help other people who feel like they also are empaths. From what I've been learning, so this is just a little tiny bit of, little tiny bit of seasoning for you. Uh, what I've been learning is that if you think you are an empath, you should know. You should definitely know. If you have to question it and ask yourself and it doesn't feel right, then you're probably not an empath. However, if you know you have these feelings that are just so extreme and so contagious, or you're a, or sorry, I should say, people's extremes are contagious upon you, there might be something there. Uh, there are also multiple types of empaths, and me specifically, if anyone's wondering, I'm an emotional empath. Did you guess it? <laughs> And really, really what that means is like, I, I really love this analogy that I found. If you're watching a movie, like a comedy, with your best friend, and you guys are both there, but your best friend right now is depressed, you're gonna walk out of that comedy just as depressed as him. Not because you want to. If I were going to see a comedy, I'd wanna be happy. I'd wanna watch a funny movie. But if there's someone there who's having these extreme emotions, they will end up being projected onto me. And I can't do anything except accept it. The reason why I'm saying this is because me realizing who I am as a person and me realizing how I can improve and everything is making me so much happier. It's, it's, it's helping me find my passion. It's helping me find out what I really need to do with my life. And figuring yourself out is a struggle. And it's, it's a step in the right direction for me. And speaking of figuring yourself out, thank you guys so much for all your support. You are helping me figure it out as well. There's a lot of stuff that I do not know, and every day I learn so much more. And it's because of you guys. It's because of the support. Thank you for checking out my invention.
Hopefully it won't hit the market anytime soon.